I've given up french fries for 10 years in attempts to lose weight. Because when I was younger, I was heavy and I wanted to uh, trim down. And in this moment, I thought, you know, there's never gonna be another time where I'm in Singapore talking with you on this amazing show. So I'm gonna have my first fry for the first time in 10 years. <laughs> Are you ready for yeah, this? This is a huge here. moment. Okay, cheers, I'm nervous. Cheers. You can oh, hear it? I can no. hear it. Cheers. Is it just as good as you remember? I remember that taste. It's childhood. That's great. We have to kiss over that one. <laughs> that was amazing. Fry kiss. Fry kiss. Cheers to a lovely meal. In Singapore. We've had a few lobsters, but they're not as popular in the States. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get lobster at a nice seafood restaurant, but it's not a trend, really. So we're excited to see all this fresh lobster here, especially because we're in an island, so the lobster is probably very fresh. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we don't eat it as much as we could. This is a good moment. It's really cool. I've never had something like that. And it's kind of sweet, you know, but not too sweet. It reminds me of a donut, like um, a non-sweet donut. Yeah, you know? this is cool. Mm. All right, let's try dipping some. Go for it. That's actually got a good amount of heat. It reminds me of American version of sweet and sour sauce, but way better. Yeah. It's almost refined version of that. Yeah, it is a little sweet, huh? It's got a little sweetness, but then the kick happens right at the end of the bite. It makes you go, whoa. A lot of times we'll go down to the coast in Los Angeles and have lobster there, and it'll be really chewy. It's like when you order calamari and it tastes like rubber, mm -hmm. you know? It, it says a lot about the chef, and here you can taste that the chef knows what he's doing. Puts care into what, what's being put on the plate. Lobster was too expensive for our wedding. We thought about it, but uh, yeah, that adds an extra $20 uh -huh. a head. So we were like, you know what, we'll save the lobster for our honeymoon. Yep. So we did that. <laughs> I love the idea of the lobster roll because it's taking a refined dish like this and making it on the go. It feels a little more um, casual, which is nice. And this is something I would love to grab and walk around and visit, shop in different places, so mm -hmm. I like this. I'm excited to watch Ooh, you eat look this. look at that toast on the side. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. That's great. I love the bread, too, that surrounds it. The bread we have back home is... We don't have much like this. Maybe like a sourdough bread or something like this, but that's what makes it special here. And I actually love the balance of bread to lobster. It's the perfect ratio. Yeah. What's your favorite food that you had? My favorite food so far is I took a jog through the city this morning and I ended up at this very small breakfast spot in the Arab district. And I noticed that the sign was in Mandarin and I didn't know how to order. So I just walked in and I pointed. I had butter toast with some thick butter and it was kind of sweet but it was delicious. And then I had a rum cake, which had this amazing sort of brownie filling surrounded by a cake swirl. And then I had eggs that were slightly cooked and you broke the egg and ate it with a spoon. And I've never had that before, so that was really cool. And uh, that's by far my favorite meal so far. Well, mine is this right here. This is your favorite <laughs> meal? You know what, I think this might take the cake. This is becoming my favorite meal yes. in Singapore. 